Hello everybody, I'm Bubba and this is a 5 minute culture flash. <laughs> Howdy everybody, join me for five minutes. Today, I'm gonna share some super cool facts about an art form you see all around you but probably don't think about too much. Street painting. Street painting is a large drawing usually made with pastel chalks in a public plaza, boulevard, or square. So, let's go back a bit. Where does street painting come from? Well, actually, it comes from a lot of different places. In 16th century Italy, street painters were called Madonnaires because of their recreations of the Madonna. In the UK, during the 1700s, they were called Screamers after the writing style they often used. In Germany, they're called Strassenmaler, which simply means street painter. Some of these artists, like the Italian El Greco, became very famous. Okay, okay, so I know how a painter makes his living. He sells the paintings. But how does a street painter make his living? He sells the sidewalk? Street painters make a living just like street musicians, by grateful spectators who are happy to watch the creation being made. Street paintings are not meant to stick around too long. That's part of the beauty of them. Typically, they can stay in good condition for a few weeks. Rain, moisture, wind, and traffic determine if they stay around longer. In ideal conditions, and when people treat the paintings with respect, they can stay for months. I actually like the way they age, like my grandmama Sophie. She doesn't look a day overnight. In the US, street painting is only allowed at public festivals or private events. You better not do it anywhere you like, cause you will be fined up to $500. In Australia, you can get up to two years in jail and a $26,000 fine. In Taiwan, Besides being jailed and paying a fine, Hoo-ya! you can get caned. So you better check the laws where you live before you start painting. In Europe, on the other hand, there are designated areas especially for painters to create their art. Today, some street painters actually create 3D images. How do they do that? by using a computer to distort the angles of their painting and transferring it to the ground by use of a grid. The professional term for this is anamorphic painting. By looking at the painting from the right angle, you really feel like you're in another dimension. A lot of people that practice street art actually have very successful careers in the film and animated design industries. There are festivals, unions, a whole society of street painters all around the world. Which brings me to a fact I find extremely interesting. Street painting is a performance based art which allows the viewer to watch it being created right before their eyes. Most street painters find this to be the most exciting part. Think about it, instead of working alone in a studio, they get to work outside with the community. Street painters also make their own chalk, and they have a secret ingredient. They use Coca-Cola or Pepsi in their recipe. Do you know why? The sugar in the drink helps the chalk blend stick to the ground. Otherwise, the wind would just blow the chalk away. Well, one of the cool things about street painting is you don't need experience to start. Basic art training helps, but the truth is, for most of the participants in the festivals, it's the only artistic event they do all year. So if you have the will and the desire and want to have some fun, you should just go try it. Well, that's all for today, folks. See you next time.